Parker, great to have you with us. Weather is awesome all weekend long. And for Xfinity qualifying, we're at 83 degrees. And the first car out, one that carries significant history here, a black number three <laughs> driven by an Earnhardt. It's Jeffrey behind the wheel. This is a real cool storyline. Yeah, when I watch that car flash by our cameras and you see that number three here at Talladega, just reminds you of so many great memories from the Earnhardt family. The beautiful victory here in 2000 by Dale was, was one of the biggest wins I've ever seen. 18th to first in two or three laps. And um, Larry McReynolds on the box. That's a, that's another special part to this weekend. So happy for you, Larry. Coach that guy up. Let's go win a race. What do you say? What do you think about that, Adam? Larry won the Daytona 500 with Dale in 1998. And when he did that, Jeffrey, who's driving the car this weekend, was eight years old. It's an amazing story, and, and here's the list of accomplishments for America's crew chief, 23 cup wins, of course, all the success with Alabama's own Davey Allison. A pair of wins in the 500. We talk about what he did with Earnhardt. He also won with Davey in the Great American Race. And no practice this weekend, just qualifying. So these are the first laps we are seeing on track for the Xfinity cars. One lap and back to the start finish line. And it's going to be 52. Right, buddy, make sure you run it up to 265, 270. Do everything you can to stay off the brakes, bud. 5260 for Jeffrey Earnhardt. Yeah, and if, if that car makes it around a lap, and no, Adam, like you said, no practice. You leave pit road, and you, you want to make sure you get a clean lap. He did that. That should be well good enough to make this race. So Regan Smith. Well, Adam, America's crew chief is back. Larry McReynolds, I didn't think I would ever get an opportunity to interview you on pit road. Evaluate that lap for me. Well, again, Regan, we, we've never qualified here with this package since they went with the smaller restrictor plate at Daytona last year. So we've set the benchmark, so we're just going to have to get some cars to see what that time's going to be like. You know, we, we did everything we could, got to 280 at the line, which was a little over what we wanted to get to. But uh, we just have to wait and see now. But it's cool to be back down here, trust me. Adam, you can see the smiles on his face. It was intense. The monitor cut out for a split second. Larry was getting mad already. It was fun to watch. <laughs> And there's 41 cars here this weekend. Jeffrey just needs to beat eight to lock himself into the show.